Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the latest update to Doodly, which brings cloud rendering. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Ever since I heard that cloud rendering was coming to Doodly, I have been anxiously awaiting it. So I'm really excited that it's finally here. I understand that this was a major feat of software engineering to make it happen. So I'm very grateful to the development team for making this a reality. So what is it? Why am I so excited? Okay, well, first let's talk about what this is. So what is cloud rendering? Well, you know how you normally save your video and then you export it and it creates a file and it's stored on your computer. Cloud rendering dispenses with that. You no longer have to save it to your computer. Instead, it renders it and saves it directly into Voomly. And Voomly is a video hosting service. It's part of the same family that Doodly and Toonly and Takia and Pix and People Builder and Voomly all belong to. Now that Doodly will save the videos directly into Voomly, you get quite a few different benefits. For one, it saves disk space, so you no longer have to save it to your hard drive. And then, of course, you no longer have to upload it to Voomly if that's what you were doing in the past. And then once those videos are inside of Voomly, it lets you take advantage of all the cool features that Voomly offers. And it's super fast and super easy to do. And of course, once you create your video and render it to the cloud, you get a link that you can share and embed it into your websites and whatever it is you want to do. Let's take a look and see how it works, okay? So I have this little short video that I made. It's about 30 seconds long. So first I need to save my video. And this is just like what I normally would do. I would hit export. And normally I would pick my destination on my hard drive and my resolution and hit export. Well, I don't have to do that anymore. Now I can hit upload to Voomly Cloud, pick my resolution, and choose export. And so now it's doing its thing. It's rendering the video just like it used to do. And instead of saving it on my hard drive, it's saving it up in the cloud. Okay, so that's done. So I can go ahead and close this. If I wanted, I could look here and it shows that all of my rendering tasks are complete. It also gives me this handy little link I click this. So now I'm here in Boomly. It's still doing a little bit of processing. So this will take about a minute or so. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. It's already uploaded and I'm ready to work with it. If I click these three little dots right here, I'll get a nice little menu. Right now I could go ahead and grab the link and just share it with people. as is, or I could do some of the fun things that Boomly offers. So let's just go ahead and hit customize video player. And all of these things here are available to us. So for example, if we wanted to change the thumbnail, click thumbnail. This is the default thumbnail. Well, but if I want this to be the default thumbnail, okay? Or if I wanted to do a loop or customize the image, I could do that as well. But let's just say this is the one I want. Then I could go to player skin and I could change all the colors and do all kinds of fun things over here. So let's give it a different color. I like orange and a border skin. I could put it in a cell phone, a laptop, a different kind of frame. And there's a whole bunch of them that you can choose from. We'll use this one. And see this little Voomly logo? Well, you could put your own logo here instead. Right here. First of all, you could turn it off. Or if you would like your own custom logo, you just go over here and browse for your own logo and put it there. Controls. There's all kinds of play buttons, time, volume, video speed, subtitles, etc. that you can show here. If I wanted to add subtitles to the video, I could do it right here. Then the real power comes with these interactions. So I know a lot of people like the idea of having a clickable link on their videos. Well, you could easily do that right here. So let's add a button. 
and I'm gonna say right here and let's just put it over here and I could change the color to match and then right here on click what happens well right now nothing but I could say open URL and I could have it go to voomly.com or wherever you know wherever I want to send them but I'll just leave it right here at Voomly. I can have the video stop the moment they hit that button so then when they come back they could resume it there's a ton of tools that you can explore here and then of course if you want to password protect it you could easily do that here's a preview of the video page if you don't want the Voomly logo you can upload your own and you could even make interactive build your own adventure type videos right here using the interactive video feature okay remember that link that I copied a moment ago let's just go to a blank page here and paste that in okay here's the video and if I click here pauses the video and takes me directly to the website that I entered. While we're here, let's talk about Boomly for a moment. You may already have the Boomly account as part of when you signed up for Doodly and they gave you the free trial version, in which case, by all means, start using it. Use up that trial and see if you like it or not. Now, if you're an older Doodly user and you don't have a Boomly account, and you don't have that option in your software to export it, then what I would recommend is sign up for the free version, the little light version of Boomly Cloud, and that'll give you a certain number of Doodly videos that you can upload to Boomly Cloud and work with in the way that I just showed you. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete my little button, and then let's just take a quick look and we will be done. And there you have it, cloud rendering, plus a little taste of some of Boomly's features. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.